Hi, today we're going to take the unbox a taste test review of Holtz GM Session Vape Juice. So this is a 30 ml, 30 ml bottle. And the nicotine is just a wee bit more than what I usually vape my nicotine levels at. This is a 4 milligrams of nicotine. Usually I vape about 3 mils of nicotine. So instead of 3, this one's 4. Don't know why they kind of bumped up by 1, but they did. Now, I don't know how good this is going to taste because if you don't know, It's coming by the same brand here. The Hawes by Mystic. Oh no, this does not say it's made by Mystic. You know, same brand. Hawes. Which if you remember this, was garbage because the battery in here was the same Ego battery. So yeah, and this was just like, bleh, Nasty. So, hopefully the juice is Pretty good. Where I put it up at? Walgreens. Mm hmm. Here's the funny thing. This juice over at Walgreens goes for $30. I'm not kidding. I'm not lying. I'm not joking. I'm not going to say it's like 30 freaking hours for this little bottle. And when we open it up, there's you know, the website down there. I know you can't see it too good on camera. And it's supposed to be like a lemon lime flavor or a lemon orange flavor kind of thing. As you could see the bottle a little bit better. So yeah, just a small little bottle, fairy butts. One could get which is ridiculous compared to this one which was like twenty two. 25 bucks, and this was actually this is not even telling me how big it is, but you could definitely see the size comparison. Even like some of these, which is a 120 ml bottle, go for like maybe. To 17 bucks for 120 ml bottles, but this 30 bucks. I mean, you could get one like this size, which is you know roughly around the same size, for about 10 bucks at your local online e shop, vape stores, boy motor, you know, tobacco and vape stores, you know, for about 10 bucks. And this one, 30, 30. Freaking dollars for this. Good news, I did not pay 30 because this was the only thing they had that was on clearance. I only paid 10 bucks for this, so I paid the same price that you usually pay for a water bottle. You know, a glass bottle with a dripper. So that's why I picked it up because 30 bucks is not worth it for the price range and size for 30. 30 for this, maybe. 30 for this. Definitely. Three for this? No. If it was back to ten, like how the usual bottles are, for like, you know, other brands, this was from I Love Donuts, that brand, but you know, for the size of the bottle, ten bucks, I think they'd have a lot more sales. Three bucks for that? No, it's not no premium, not no limited edition BS, it's just a standard issue grass bottle with a grass stripper. So we're going to be using the Smelt V2 Species. Okay, that should be about enough, around halfway in the tank. Let's 
clean it up just a bit before my camera decides to go all wacky on me. And let's see how it tastes. <sighs> hmm. Um, I'm getting kind of a lemon lime flavor to it. <laughs> um, it's almost like the slush bland. If you never had slush, I, I believe that's what's the bland, or maybe it was lush. Can't remember if it was slush or lush. I had the bottle it somewhere else, but. That one was more of a lemon lime, icy type of flavor, which was kind of good. Even though it was not ice, because if you're in the vape world, if it says ice on it, it's kind of like a methyl, so it's like one of the other flavors, which this one is a true blueberry flavor, the Lunar Harvest. So they sell, like, for example, Lunar Harvest, you get this one without the ice, which is a blueberry one, and then with the ice, it's like adding methyl to it. Which, you know, in the vape world, vapors don't like tobacco flavor vaped e-liquid juice, nor do they like ice with their e-liquid vape juice, you know. That whole methyl thing. Although with Lunar Harvest Blueberry, you gotta have it in the ice, cause it's too sweet. It's like eating those uh, pie fins straight out of a can. That thing would give you diabetes right here. You gotta have that mouth off to be like, hmm, okay, now it's good enough to eat. Is this a good one? Flavor wise, it's on the light side. Maybe a summer flavor. It's okay flavor wise, but for that $30 price tag range, no! God, no! This is not worth three dollars. If they put it back down to the price range that usually around the ten dollar price range, maybe fifteen, ten to fifteen bucks. You know, depends on what brand you buy from what for like you know, I love donuts or uh, Lush or you know any other one. Yeah, ten dollars. Definitely worth it for ten dollars. I would recommend pick it up for ten bucks. But for the thirty dollar price tag, that's on this thing over at Walgreens, no. I'm not saying that it's a bad flavor. It's a good flavor. Just thirty dollars is way too much for the size of the bottle. Okay, that's the only bad thing about it. And definitely do not pick up this. Hoss, but I missed it. Vape pen, I guess you could call it. This is guys. They're still using the Ego battery, just rebrand with Hoss on there. The taints always taste garbage, no matter what flavor you put on there. Doesn't hold a charge, it's garbage. But the Hoss vape juice is actually pretty good. Which, yeah. The vape de device is garbage, but the juice is good. But the price minus for the juice. Mm, nope. Nope. So yeah, that has been an unboxing, taste test, and review of Hoss. Who's GM Session Vape Juice. Remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, and leave a comment. Alright, thanks, bye.